how the song came about. Um, Caitlin Curtis is an artist that I signed uh, to Angels and Outlaws, my label. And we had been working on her album, uh, working on my new stuff. 2020's in full swing, all right? So, everything's kind of still being figured out, you know, like, okay, here's this COVID thing. Is it real? Is it not real? The mask, we got to wear the mask. Oh, fuck the fuck these masks, you know, all, all of it was kind of cycling, you know, we're like, as things are happening, we're just figuring it out as people uh, with the information that, not that we're given, because, you know, of course, uh, we're searching for information, right? Mm -hmm. um, anybody that I am close with, you know, we're going to find our own information. We're not just going to be fed what's given. So so I'm like, you know, I'm reading this stuff and I'm in the studio and I'm kind of on my rants, you know. I'm like, man, this is crazy. You seeing this? You seeing this? And Caitlin wasn't, she didn't, she didn't know anything about it right or left or you know what I mean like um, not she, into politics she didn't grow up in a political house I didn't either you know uh, most of my life I thought I was a democrat because I was poor and I had food stamps and I thought this was the way it was supposed to be you know it wasn't until I became a man a father a business owner you know a tax paying American that I was like oh no fuck what the fuck like Absolutely not. That's interesting. Is that is that a commonality? Super. Growing up like that, you just automatically assume, uh, oh, we're Democrats. Automatic, hundred percent. No because shit. Because the Democrats have been so good at masking themselves as for the people, right? With welfare, health care, you know, racial equality, whatever the issue is, they do a great job at. Masking. I mean, Malcolm X was talking about it, you know, saying that the the biggest enemy was the white liberal because they would they were wolves in sheep clothing. They would mask like they were, and they would always use, um, you know, black powerful leaders to try to get their message out. Right? Um, they've been guilty of that for centuries. Uh, but so I always thought I was a Democrat because, you know, I, I live in the hood. I got, I'm on welfare. I've got food stamps, you know. Um, that was just how I was raised, thinking that that's what it was. I didn't know anything about real politics, you know, until I became, until it started to affect my life. You know, till I started seeing taxes, till I started seeing, it's like, hold up, no, I'm not fixing it. I don't want to give 50% of my money so that this person that doesn't, won't get up off the fucking couch can live the same way as me. Like, um, you don't like doing that? Oh, absolutely not. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse, dude. Like, when I started getting into conversations about socialism, <laughs> dude. I literally had one of my favorite artists in the entire world, and I'm not going to mention his name. Sit in the studio, and he goes, struggle, but don't you understand? Guys like me and you, we just have a knack to make money. You know, we, we have a lot of drive, and shouldn't we give 50 60% in taxes so that people that are lazy or just don't have the same drive we have can enjoy the same life that we do? It's a real conversation? Yes, this I'm beginning to think that liberal is a mental disorder. Seriously, the, the far liberal. I don't know. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some liberal friends, and you know, whatever. But like, yeah, no, they really believe that shit. I literally had an argument with uh, another friend of mine. He's like. I'm like, bro, this is the only country that you can come from nothing and become a fucking billionaire, dog, because of the American dream, because, because, because of capitalism and because of conservative beliefs. And he goes, yeah, struggle, but in socialist countries, nobody comes from nothing. I'm like, yeah, but nobody has anything past this. You know what I mean? Like, there's a ceiling. You can't 
That's the beauty of the American dream is you can go as high as you fucking want if you're willing to put the work in, take the fucking chances, sacrifice. You can have whatever you want. That's yeah. the beauty of the American dream. You know, um, and yeah, it's a real conversation. Interesting. I've, yeah. I've not had to have you, that yeah, conversation you don't have any before. Friends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.